What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I've been asked a lot across all my social media platforms, am I coming back to the iCarly revival? It's not a reboot. Okay, so <laughs> Miranda Cosgrove did an interview recently where she talked about how anyone who was in the first season who guest starred in it, I technically was like lower than a guest star if you get into like the logistics of it, but maybe since I was in the first episode, this will also apply to Brennan Yeverly. Um, she said anyone uh, who was in the fight Carly is welcome back onto the show that they'd love to have them back. Uh, I don't know if that means we reach out to them or they reach out to us. I actually have asked my manager and agent to reach out to production and at least for season one before she did that interview, they said that there wasn't any plans at the time to bring Brennan Yeverly back. But that doesn't mean Brennan Yeverly can't come back in season two. How I think this could work? So if you ask me, how would Brennan Yeverly fit back into the future of Miranda Cosgrove's character's life. One, let's make it a, uh, a Halloween episode. Okay, so let's say it's Halloween, um, iCarly, or Carly, throws a you know, Halloween party or attends a Halloween party, and she runs into someone who's dressed like a Power Ranger. Maybe not exactly like a Power Ranger because of copyright, but maybe, I don't know. I mean, Rangers used to be on Nickelodeon, right? So perhaps they could work something out. And she goes to that person and goes, oh, that's a really cool costume. And then I turn around and go, oh, thanks. And then she goes, wait, I recognize you. Aren't you that guy who talks backwards? I go, oh yeah, you're the person with that web show or whatever. And then that could be how Brennan Yeverly comes back while also throwing in an Easter egg of me being a Power Ranger during a Halloween episode. I think that'd be pretty cool. Or, okay, let's look at another option. Maybe Miranda Cosgrove's character goes to the gym or something and sees me doing like acrobatics and handstands and things. And she goes like, huh, that guy does a lot of stuff upside down, you know, doing handstand push-ups." And then I go over and I go, oh, hey, how are you? And she's like, wait, I recognize you. I was like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, I was the backwards talker on your show. And she's like, so you go upside down and you backwards talk. You just do everything backwards, don't you? You know, like, and that could just be a way it launches into how Brennan Yeverly comes back. Or maybe that leads to like a um, recurring character for Brennan Yeverly, who somehow comes in occasionally and works with the team, or I don't know. Um, those are just two options that I think could work pretty easily, especially for a one-off episode if they don't want a recurring episode. I haven't been asked to come back on iCarly, but it doesn't mean there's not a possibility in the future. And I would love to come back because that was, I believe, my second acting job I've ever done. So SAG, which is the Screen Actors Guild, um, and AFTRA, which are the, were the two unions for acting at the time, um, they merged. So it's now SAG-AFTRA as one entity. I believe iCarly was AFTRA. So it was my first AFTRA job. The only job I did before that was CSI Miami, and I was a co-star in that episode. Um, and then I also did an AFI film, which is American Film Institute. Or actually, no, I didn't film it yet. I booked the AFI film and the iCarly episode at the same day, on the same night. And my audition for iCarly wasn't, hey, Brennan, speak backwards, because we're looking for a backwards talker. They were actually just kind of holding a talent show, looking for random talents that they could add to the show uh, for the first episode. For those who don't know, I'm in the very first episode of iCarly on Nickelodeon iPilot. You can find it on Netflix now. And I'm also in all the credits of the original iCarly show, dancing in the background with the Roman helmet on. Uh, hopefully Steven edits a picture in here or here. So in the audition, they're like, hey, so uh, what's your ability? What can you do? And I was like, uh, I can speak backwards. And this was before I was as skilled at circus, so I didn't want to do handstands or anything. I just wasn't as good yet. And there's a bunch of posters I remember in this room in the casting office. And I said, oh, just point to a poster and I can say it backwards. And she says, okay. So she points to one and I say it backwards, this and that and whatever. And she's like, wow, that's so cool. Thanks. And then I leave. And then I got a call a few days later from my manager that I booked it, uh, that they loved my ability. They kept my first name, obviously, Brennan, and they changed my last name to Yeverly. Uh, and then basically on the show, all I had to do was literally speak backwards. I didn't even have to really memorize any lines because Jeanette McCurdy and Miranda Cosgrove would just tell me what to say backwards. And then I would just do my ability to say it backwards. So technically I didn't have to memorize whatever I needed to say backwards because it was just like, do the ability. It'd be like, if I told you say, hey guys, say hi. And you'd be like, hi, it's just, you're following Simon Says kind of thing. And so, yeah, I did all the words backwards, like ointment, tenem teno, slippery watermelon, Europil, snalem, retsoa. Or I must be from the planet Jupiter because there is no other way I'm saying this backwards which is I just some ebb, morph, it, ten up, ready, pudge, as well, cup, or I say, on, reheto, yeah, I, knack, yes, it hits, cab. I can talk backwards as long as I can spell it. If you give me a really long sentence, I just start forgetting what's next, which is why it gets complicated. Um, 
not that I lose the ability to do it, but I just forget where I am because it's harder for me to keep track of where I am uh, with the words chronologically. I start at the beginning of the sentence and go backwards. So if you say, Brennan, say the cat. I don't say cat the backwards, tack ahead. I say the cat, which is ahead, tack. So that's why it doesn't sound right when you play it backwards because people were like, oh, I downloaded the Snapchat app and I played it backwards and this guy's lying. It's like, no, no, I'm not lying. I just don't say it backwards how you want me to say it backwards. Plus, I say it phonetically, not how it would sound recorded. So I do it by syllable. So certain words have more syllables forward or more backwards depending on the word, because that's how in English anyway, the way I've created my own rules for talking backwards works. So the word because, because, right? Two syllables, because. But if you say it backwards, or at least the way I do it, S, U, A, Keb. I don't know why I counted like this. That's four. S U W uh, KEP, right? So because S U W uh, KEP. So four syllables, if you reverse it, isn't going to come out as because. I don't even know what it would sound like if you reversed it, but I don't think it'd be right. But that's just the way I speak backwards. And I do that because if I ever meet another person with some brain issues like me, we could perhaps figure out what the other person's saying. Uh, think about it this way. If I'm talking about, if you're like, uh, how many hours are left? And I say one hour. So hour is spelled H-O-U-R, right? So if I say that backwards, hour, I pronounce the H, R-U-O-H is hour backwards. I go ruach, personally. Doesn't mean it sounds right because that would be ruach if you keep the H silent. But then if I'm talking to someone backwards, they may think I'm saying hour, you know, like our toy, O-U-R, like ownership, because backwards, it's hard to know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Um, I could have done it either way, but that's just how I pronounce things, just to give you a little insight into my brain. So that's why it doesn't sound the same backwards. Yes, I hopefully can be in a future iCarly episode. Kind of went on a backwards talking tangent. If you can also talk backwards, let me know in the comments because I want to meet more of my kind. You know, maybe I am from the planet Jupiter and maybe someone out there is also from the planet Jupiter because there's no other way I could be saying this backwards. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Check you guys next time.